Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I have this Huawei Watch GT2 46mm and I'll walk you through the entire setup process as well as review the Huawei Health app briefly. So let's get started. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab as we have dedicated playlist for Huawei, Fossil, Samsung and Fitbit smartwatches. So be sure to check it out. I recently did the unboxing, specs and brief review of this Huawei Watch GT2 which is linked at the end of this video in case if you missed it out and I mentioned in that video that I'll be doing a setup video separately so in today's video I'll walk you through the setup process as well as briefly review the Huawei Health app. Let's start by booting up the watch and to do that you have to press and hold the top right button and wait until the Huawei logo appears. Once booted up, it will prompt you to select languages and there is a whole bunch of language to select from. I will go ahead and select English. The next screen will be to pair it up with the Huawei Health app on your mobile device. I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus which is an Android device and you will find the Huawei Health app developed by Huawei Internet Services. Let's open it up. And on top right you will find two options scan and add. You do want to make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. It will prompt you to select the device you want to pair and in this case it will be a smartwatch. It will prompt you a couple of models to select from. The one I have is the Huawei Watch GT2. Next screen will be to pair and once you click on pair, the pairing process will start. Once your watch is detected, go ahead and select it and the pairing process will instantly start. Which is pretty straightforward process. Once paired, follow along by clicking continue. Next screen will be for notifications. Make sure to enable it. This one is important as it will take you to your phone setting and you have to allow this app to get notifications from the phone which is very important as if you don't enable it no matter how hard you try you will not get any notifications. I also prefer to add this watch as my trusted device on the list. If you want to, you can do that so that your phone will stay unlocked when your watch is connected to it. Going back onto the health app, you will be prompted to grant this app access to contacts phone calls, locations, photos and media. I would say allow everything except location on while accessing the app. As if you allow the location all the time, it may affect the battery capacity of your phone. So that's it. The watch is paired and ready to go. So the pairing process was fairly quick. I would say it was faster than Fossil and Fitbit devices. Now let's talk about the Huawei Health app. And right off the bat, I appreciate the dark themed background as it's less stressful on my eyes and the phone's battery life as well. This was not the case with the previous version. At the top you can see your steps, calories and distance. And above it you can see that the watch is connected along with the battery percentage displayed which is pretty cool. Moving on there is troubleshooting guidelines which you can go through if you encounter any issues. Next one is Huawei True Sleep 
which you can see is enabled make sure to keep it enabled as this will monitor your sleep quality and breathing pattern in real time analyze your sleep pattern and accurately diagnose six type of sleep problems which is a bit bold statement made by an app and receive more than 200 personalized sleep quality assessment and suggestions i am personally highly impressed with the sleep monitoring as i have been using it and a detailed video about it will come up pretty soon so stay tuned by subscribing next one is activity reminder which is turned on in my case this is my personal favorite as it reminds you after every hour of sitting down. The one next to it is continuous heart rate monitoring, which is also enabled and instantly I appreciate Huawei providing two options, smart and real time. I have selected smart as it automatically adjusts the frequency of measurements to save power while monitoring your heart rate 24 seven and I have been using this option and it's pretty reliable. If for any reason you select real time, it will drain your battery a little bit faster. Next one is alerts, which is another cool features not offered by another smartwatches, where you can select alerts for high and low from a range of 100 to 150 beats per minute. This will be helpful for people with cardiac condition. Next one is automatic stress test, which is disabled. And this is another unique feature which monitors your stress levels based on your heart rate and motion. You do have to calibrate your watch for this and I will do a separate video after testing it out myself. So stay tuned. Moving on, there is alarm, music, notifications which are enabled you can customize from the list and filter out the notifications that you don't want moving on is the favorite contacts where you can add up to 10 contacts which you can dial directly from the watch next one is weather reports which is also enabled and the cool part is you can switch between degrees celsius and fahrenheit the weather data is based off your GPS location, which is pretty handy. Next one is Bluetooth connection reminders, which is my favorite as if you were to move away from your phone, the watch will remind you that you left your phone behind. Pretty cool. Next one is the raised wrist to wake feature, which is enabled where the screen will be activated if you raised your wrist. Just a side note, you can save a bit of battery life if you are to disable it. The next one is firmware update, where it's checking for the latest firmware and there is one since the watch just came out of the box. This update has some issues fixed with the heart rate monitoring, enhanced system capabilities and optimized GPS tracking. These updates will be downloaded onto your phone and then sent over to your watch via Bluetooth and the watch will then restart and install the updates. Since the entire process is over Bluetooth, it does take a while, so be patient. I like the boot up animation of the Huawei logo and even the updating animation. It's pretty cool. Once the firmware update is done, it will say that the current firmware is up to date and that's it. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one.